Hey guys, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Candice. I'm one of the trainers here. Um, we're just getting in some more people. Okay. Um, so yeah, so Lisa told you the workout that we're going to be doing. I just wanted to remind you guys that anytime we do an exercise program, it's at our own risk. And always make sure that you check in with a physician if you're not sure about being able to do something. Take a break if you need it before we give it to you. And of course, feel free to skip anything that might be too aggressive um, or do the modifications that we'll show you. Okay, so we're going to get started right now. Welcome. Happy to have you guys. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do. Oh, yeah, true. Okay, first thing we're going to do is call the plank, and we're going to touch each ankle on the opposite side. So Lisa's going to demonstrate it for you. There you go. We're going to have her move up a little bit in a moment. Okay. So that's the first exercise. The second exercise is going to be those in and out jump squats. On the front. Yep. Okay, and let's move that a little bit more forward. Than that. Okay. And then the next thing we're going to do, you guys are going to need a chair before we get started. So you're going to, she's going to show you from the side. We're going to do these knees to chest crunches. Good. Okay, the fourth thing we're gonna do is fingertips to heel jumps. So you're gonna have your heels come up behind you and touch your heels with your, your, with your fingers. The next thing we're gonna do is called a duck walk and we're gonna go forward and back. So she's gonna get into this position where your toes are turned outward and you're gonna stay down for as long as you can. Do not come up, okay? Back and forth for the 30 seconds. The next thing we're gonna do is a punch kick jump, alternating hands and feet. The modification on that is just don't jump. There you go. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is on a mat and we're gonna use weights. So you're gonna take a weight, hold it with both hands, put your legs up straight over your feet up over your hips. So at least you want to bring your feet up over your hips and keep them there the whole time. Crunch up so your shoulder blades come off the ground. And when you go back down, don't let your head hit the ground, just your shoulder blades, okay? And then the last thing we're going to do is a knee to opposite elbow squat. There you go. So everything for 30 seconds. Okay, and then we are gonna move the mat up this way more. All right, you guys, get ready. We're gonna start soon. Up a little bit. Yep. More, more. Keep going. Just keep going. I'll tell you when. Okay. And yeah, you're just gonna stand right in the middle of that. All right, you guys. Here we go. Okay. So remember, round one is going to be the plank to touch each ankle. Good, drop those hips and drop those hips. There you go, get down to that plank in good form. Drop the butt, get down there. Keep it going. All right, and rest. Okay, so remember you want to make sure that you bring your hips and butt down. Get right back into that plank position. 10 seconds, we're going to go round two. Yes, excellent. This is a good warm-up one, guys. Make sure you use your whole body. Open everything up. 10 seconds left. Good. 
three seconds. And rest. Okay, let's get ready. Get ready for round three in 10 seconds. Five seconds. And go. When you're replacing your hands to the mat or floor, make sure that your wrists are directly under your shoulders. Ten seconds left. Keep pushing, keep the core strong. Okay, good job. Next thing we're gonna do are the in and out jumps. So with this one, what you're what you're doing is on the squat out, you're going to put your hands down to the floor in between your feet. If you can't touch the floor, then you're just gonna to touch the inside of your ankles. Here we go in five seconds. When you jump in, your feet are coming, when you jump up, your feet are coming together. Then you jump out into a squat, alternating hands coming into the middle of your feet. And rest. So remember guys, modifications for jumping, um, you're just moving your feet outward into the same position without doing the actual jump. And that's totally fine. We always want you guys to try the harder thing or what might feel like it's harder for you. Make sure <clears throat> that you're pushing even when, while knowing your limits as well, okay? Five seconds, here we go, round two. And go. Those of you guys who are jumping, those of you guys who are jumping, get high and get low on the way down. And rest. Okay, get ready in 10 seconds. We're going for round three. And go. Keep your core tight. Five seconds and rest. All right, so this is where you want to grab your chair, the edge of your couch. If you have a box like we're showing you here, great, you can use that. We're going to do knees to chest crunch. Put your hands behind you, chest up. Get ready to go in. About five seconds here. And go. Don't forget to breathe, you guys. Don't hold your breath. Keep going, keep going, 10 seconds.
three, and rest. Good, remember we talked about active rest in between. If you wanted to come up and do some biceps curls, if you have some weights, some, over, some shoulder presses, walking in place, get ready, round two, and go. Ten seconds left. Keep breathing, don't hold your breath. Three seconds. And rest. Good job. Ten seconds to round three. Get ready and go. Keep it going, guys. Keep breathing, okay? Eight seconds. And rest. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, you guys are gonna stand up, and this is when we're bringing our heels up behind us and touching our heels with our fingertips. So there's another one with a jump slash run involved. Heels to butt. If you can't do the jump, then you're just bringing your legs up behind you, walking back and forth. Just like that. Get ready, three seconds. And go. Ooh, Lisa's hustling over here, you guys. I hope you're keeping up. She's not messing around this morning. <laughs> here we go, 10 seconds. Five. And rest. Okay, here we go. We got 10 seconds to round two. Get ready. And go. Yeah, Lisa. Hope you guys are keeping up. Here we go, five seconds, keep it going. And rest. Okay, get ready for round three in five seconds. And go. Ten seconds left. Keep going, keep breathing. Ten 
All right. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is that duck walk forward and back. So you're going to spread your feet apart and have your toes pointed outward. You're going to go down into a squat. And then as you walk forward, it's going to be a count of four and then a count of four back. Try not to stand up at all. Stay low in that squat. Get ready, we're going in two seconds, go. Stay down there. Four forward and four back. Stay low. Keep your footing light so that you're not stomping on your heels, which will go right into your ankles and right into those knees. So stay low and keep it light. You got 10 seconds left. Do not come up. Stay down there, stay down there. Five seconds left, you guys, five seconds and rest. Ten seconds to round two. Five, get ready. Here we go. Keep breathing, stay low. Keep the toes pointed out. Keep going, stay low you guys. If you have to come up, come up for two seconds and go right back down. If you need to rest those legs quick, five seconds left and rest. <laughs> okay, here we go for round three of these. 10 seconds left. Get ready and go. Keep breathing, stay low, do not come up. Do not come up unless you absolutely have to. Five more seconds, you guys, stay down there, stay down there and rest. All right, good job. That's a tough one. Next one up, that punch, kick, jump, okay? Remember, you're just gonna alternate your fist to your opposite ankle without jumping. If you need that modification, get ready in 10 seconds, we're gonna go. Don't let your back round, keep the chest up, look forward and go. Good, if you guys are modifying and not jumping, get those feet up high. You wanna touch the toes if you can. Get over there, there you go. 10 seconds, keep breathing, keep going. Five seconds. And rest. Who thought of this workout anyway? <laughs> Get ready. 15 seconds and we're going for round two. Five seconds. And go. Okay, remember if you're not jumping, get those legs up high. Okay, here we go. 10 seconds left. Keep breathing, keep going. Five seconds. 
All right, rest. Okay, 10 seconds to round three. Get ready and go. Keep it going, keep it going. Keep breathing, keep jumping, you guys. If you're doing this full force, go. You got about five seconds left. Push, push, push. And rest. Okay, so now is when you're gonna grab your mat and your weight. Got about 10 seconds before go time. So remember you wanna have your feet up in the air above your hips and they're gonna stay there the whole time with your legs straight. Your arms are also gonna be straight. Bring the weight up to your toes, raising your shoulder blades. Keep your chin tucked to help your neck. If you start to feel like your neck is bothering you, hold the weight with one hand and put another hand underneath your neck just to support it a little bit. Make sure you're raising your shoulder blades off the ground when you go toward the toes. And do your best on the way down, not to drop the head, only the shoulder blades and rest. Okay, get ready, you guys. We're about to start round two. And go. Keep it going, 10 seconds left. Get those shoulder blades off the ground. And rest. Okay, get ready. Round three coming up. Five seconds, get ready, get ready, and go. and rest okay so now you guys are going to stand back up again this is going to be bringing your knee up to the opposite elbow with a twist and then down into a squat got about 15 seconds before we go into this one Okay, so Lisa will show you this real quick and go. Bring that knee up to touch your elbow and squat down. Yes. Keep going, you guys. Get in that squat. 10 seconds left. And rest. <sighs> OK, 
Okay, get ready. We're going in 15 seconds. Remember, keep breathing. Don't hold your breath during the exercises. Keep the core tight. Five seconds. Get ready, get ready. And go. Fifteen seconds left for this round. Keep pushing, you guys. Keep going. Five seconds. And rest. Get ready to finish strong. We've got our last round on our last exercise coming up. Ten seconds, get ready. Get ready to push. You're gonna get crazy with it. And go. Good. Really get low in that squat. Get down there. Make it hurt. Even if it slows you down a little bit, get lower. Get 90 degrees. Yeah, Lisa. Keep the core tight. Keep breathing. 15 seconds. Go. 10 seconds. Five seconds, you guys, push it out. And done, good job. All right, yay! That was awesome, you guys, thank you for joining us.